Hey, what's up all my cancers? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so I'm coming to you guys today with a juicy details. What is hidden will be revealed to you, okay? This is for anybody with cancer placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody tarot card readings are like advice. You need to take it or you leave it. Either way, it's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody. Any cards that I use, any information about personal readings are going to be listed in the description box below, okay? So you guys have actually been coming up in a lot of people's readings today, Cancer, um, in the signs energy, once in the houses uh, for the fourth house. Um, I'm going to do more timeless readings and um, I'm actually going to do start just posting your like monthly horoscopes on the community tab. So look out for those. So I'm going to pull one from each deck. If more than one comes out, I'm going to put it back and pull one. We only need one, okay? You'll see why. But what's hidden will be revealed. Moon and sun energy. I already got them out. So, let's see, Cancers. What's the planet? Not too many. That's one. Venus. Okay, I want to say Capricorn got this. Okay, so cherish, enjoy, charm, art, and beauty are the way to, and let's see what the sign is. It'll, it'll form a complete sentence. So your Venus could be in Cancer. Ooh, Taurus, okay. Your beliefs, the cost of, use the most direct way, and what's the house? The 11th house, okay? I forgot who got this. Um, Libra, I think, got that, okay? Um, interesting enough, that's Aquarius energy. But let's see, it says, cherish your beliefs for humanity's sake. Enjoy the cost of your hopes and wishes. Charm, art, and beauty are the way to use the most direct way and do it for the future. Hmm. So it could be, I'm hearing the cost of love. So your, your sun or your Venus could be in Cancer or Taurus or Aquarius. All right, I'm just going to take D. No, that's too many. I just need the... I don't know why all these cards want to go. Okay, so pack your bags. This could be bad, but it has a smiley face on it. And stormy weather. Okay, this is the first time I got any of these three cards. And what's at the bottom? Dead end. What's going on, Cancer? I'm kind of getting a little worried. So this could have something to do with your love life, but I'm kind of getting worried because I feel like maybe you thought that something was on its way, but all of a sudden something abruptly stops. But it may draw you closer to some people, someone, certain relationships. Maybe it's teaching you to hold on to the relationships that's closest to you. Something that may appear to be bad is really like a tower moment kind of energy. Eight of Cups. So I definitely see somebody in their feelings. Somebody leaving something behind. Somebody that walked away. Now they... Somebody in their feelings or somebody's going to leave and kind of leave you without, without really no explanation. You had a page of Cups. I feel like, or this is somebody that's wishy-washy in and out. 
Eight of Cups followed by the Page of Cups. Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm kind of getting frustrated with this person. This could be a child, your child. The Knight of Pentacles here in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't give somebody much time. They don't give a child much time or something like that. The Empress is here in reverse. So it could be somebody's mother. It could be somebody's father. But somebody feels like they're not getting enough um, nurturing or somebody is not giving them. Somebody's ready to flee because somebody's not getting. So I'm here a runaway. But I feel like if it's a child and they run away, um, they come back. Or if this is a child that has been gone away from home, like as soon as they turn 16, 17, 18, they was gone, they're coming back. But they've changed. What's the Taurus card? Maybe they're coming back because they broke or they don't have any money. You have the star card here in reverse. Somebody could also be sick. The, the cherry here in reverse. I'm hearing like breast cancer. Literally like look at all the breasts. Somebody could be a survivor. It could be in remission. But it's not totally gone. Seven of Cups in reverse. I'm hearing what's the price? Is there a price tag on your life? Like, what are you willing to go through? This could be an ancestor watching over you too. Somebody who died. They could have been a cancer. They died from... Breast cancer, or they could be an Aquarius or a Taurus. I feel like somebody is kind of no longer confused. Give me one more, but I feel like somebody isn't necessarily confused. They kind of know what's going on. The tower in reverse. I'm sorry, y'all. This I'm sorry that so you might be getting some news about somebody um that maybe you're real close with and they're trying to they're telling you about something that is gonna happen in the future. So I feel like now is the time to kind of spend the time with this person. It could be uh, prostate if it's a man or is it uterine uterine cancer or cancer of the uterus or something like that what's uh for humanity's sake okay the ten of cups yeah it's kind of like enjoy the good times now so you won't regret like not spending not spending this time with this person or something like that the temperance in reverse yeah or somebody might need you. Um, yeah, they may need your compassion, your love and stuff. The Queen of Swords is here. They need you to help them through the stormy weather before they, they you know, reach their demise. So this could be a childhood friend. This could be an old lover. Let's turn these around. The attraction of resources to maintain freedom. That's why I said somebody might need a certain treatment, even though like it's like somebody's telling them it's not curable. 
I still feel like they have a chance to survive longer. Only if they... Also, somebody could have, like, literally been poisoned. Or some shit like that. Okay, pleasure from the practicality of associations. And good times resulting from the productivity of your circle of friends. That's why I say enjoying the time, the good times, while... While these people are around. Oops. Give me three of these for some advice. Okay, so we have minimalist white so i do feel like somebody wants to start over arcade and alpaca you better block that shit that's alpaca and then fortune teller interesting so somebody could have told you before or somebody could have predicted this I feel like life is too short. Have fun now. Don't spend time being mad and upset at people and friends and, and family. Life is too fucking short. Too short. So enjoy that shit before it's gone, Cancer. Okay? All right, you guys. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know I appreciate it. So until next time, y'all already know what it is. I'll let it play when you see me in the street, pimp. Bye.